Hi, Fernando. Good night. Hello, teacher. Good night. How are you? Uh, very good. Very good. Yeah, teacher. Very uh, good. I'm so happy to hear that. <laughs> it's really hot where you are right now, right? Yeah, teacher. Very hot. Uh, very hot. Oh my God. Yeah, that's why I look at you're like with the t-shirt. Yeah. Yeah, it's really the hot. More, the more relaxing, teacher. Yes, I can yes. imagine. <laughs> Tell me, how was um, the design of the page? Um, you, are you still working on that? No, teacher. Uh, now he's got working on the video. Ah, on the video. So you already yes. finished the design. Now you're working on the video. On oh. the video. Video oh. on ways to help Agape. Mm -hmm. the, band, the band donations. Ah, about donations. Of donations. Donations. Ah, okay. And that will be part of the web page? Web page on the uh -huh. page that you do. Ah, okay. Okay. So you, yesterday you were working uh, on the design and now you are working on the video. Or you already yeah. finished? Mm, on the video, finish. For You're the finished. website, okay. no. <laughs> oh, okay. I know. <laughs> uh, it takes one, uh, uh, this whole week, right? Until Sunday? You, you think you will finish on Sunday? Mm, yeah, teacher. Yes. That's a possibility, right? It's possible. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> right? Oh, my God. Uh, and when do you have to present it? Once you finish? Or you have time to present the web page? Mm. Do you have a time limit? No, no. No. Uh, ah, okay. Um, for the Mondays is only weekend teacher. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah. I understand. Um, hopefully you finish it, because I know it's the really video, hard. The video is the video one day teacher. Um, one day. Only, it, only, it, only it, now. It took one day to finish the yeah. video. Oh, okay. Yes. I got real. Thank Hello. you. Welcome. Thank you, Fernando, Thank you. for How sharing that. Pretty okay. good. Thank you so much for asking. How about yourself? Great. Um, for me, um, yeah, a little time. Yeah, I can see that you are uh -huh. right now on laying on the sofa <laughs> on your bed. I don't know. Yeah, it's in yeah. my bed. Ah, uh, but and thanks, God. You deserve it. Already for uh, after <laughs> for the class to bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, you just like. Turn it off the computer. Good night. Oh, yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, you, see, you see, Fernando? That's nice, right? <laughs> okay. He's already wearing his pajama and everything. Well, that's what we hope so, right? Okay. <laughs> okay. Very good. Thank you so much. We missed you yesterday. What happened? Um, today past, uh, I was a lot of work. You had that. I have, I have a lot of work. Okay, a lot of work. Yeah. yeah. Mm, okay. I'm finished. Uh, finish it. Around, I finished it around uh, seven, seven thirty. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I can't uh, stay in class. You can or you couldn't. I couldn't. You couldn't stay, stay in class. class. <laughs> but you finished at seven thirty, and the class is at nine. Uh -huh. uh, finish on my work. Ah, your work. Uh -huh. Yes, my, my work. Uh -huh. But what happened? PM. But the class is at 9 p.m. Yes, yes. But, but? Um, so tired. So tired. Uh -huh. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> yes. uh, you, you, you were so tired. So? Tired. tired. Mentally tired, right? Mm, yes. More than physically, <laughs> mentally. Yeah, Mentally, I yeah. can imagine that. Yes, I understand that. And we are not, we, we are, uh, Fernando is younger than us, right? So mm -hmm. when we and have, a, yeah, 30s yeah. or 40s, you cannot imagine. It's not the same way that we were 20s. <laughs> it's not the yes, same. It's not the exactly. same. Maybe Fernando could have, uh, could have finished at 7.30, he will be like fresh to study. Uh, but yeah. Uh, when you are, when you have thirty or forties or not even fifties, it's not the same. <laughs> we don't have the yeah, same energy. The same. No, you understand no, no, that no. perfectly. Uh, even <laughs> though you're a man, as a woman, right, Cloudy? We have a lot of changes. Yeah, you cannot imagine, right, Cloudy? Hi, teacher. Hi, Cloudy. We uh, women, we have a lot of changes, right? We change a lot. 
Cambiamos mucho durante las décadas, right? We change a lot. 20s yeah. is not the same as 30s and the 40s is not even 50s, right? So we're yeah. not the same. I can imagine men's as well, right? So uh -huh. it's understandable, Gabriel. I forgive yeah, you. Thank you. Okay, but, <laughs> but, but send me a message, okay? Oh, okay. For okay. next time, send me a teacher. Uh, I have already finished. I'm really tired and I won't be able to assist in today's class because of this and this and this. And I understand. Okay, but okay, let me okay. know. For next time. For next I, time. Yes, yes. Just send me a message. Okay. So send a message through the WhatsApp group and I will be okay. Mm -hmm. Very okay, good. good. Thank you, but I'm so happy it. to have you here. Okay, Claudita, how are you? Hi, Jen. Are you tired? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's stress under too much pressure. Yeah. Really? Oh, I'll, 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 hopefully I will make your your day end up really good, okay? Because today's class will be fun, okay? okay. And we're okay. going to sing. So hopefully everybody have practiced the songs. Hopefully. <laughs> right, Moran? Hello. Hello, sir. Good night. How are you? Good night. I'm uh, fine. I'm fine. fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we believe you. At least you <laughs> you don't have um um you have too much energy than yesterday, right? <laughs> yes, I can see that. Okay, now <laughs> guys, this week we are talking about simple past tense. Do you remember simple past, simple past, simple past? So all this week we'll be talking about simple past. Okay, and we're going to finish today with the uh, we're going to be in the simple past. We're going to do some writing activities and also we're going to play some games. Okay. So, the, but no Kahoo. No. <laughs> Kahoo will be for next coming week. Okay. Promise. Okay. Next coming week. Okay. Because today, this week, we had a lot of grammar uh, topics or parts to cover and we don't have to play. We don't have time to play, but next week, yes, I promise. Okay. So, next week, Kahoo will be. Really harder because we're going to cover a lot of topics, okay? At least three or four topics. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, Moran, tell mm. me, how was your day? What did you do today? I told you that I'm going to ask you for simple pass every time that we start classes. Uh, you can start for I woke up at like that. I I was I was work. Uh, you was work in or you stay worked? at home. Okay, you stay home. You work. What else? Uh, I was I was work or I work. You worked. Si yo quiero decir yo trabajé. I worked. Puedo decirlo de la, no lo puedo decir I was work. No, porque no puedes usar el verbo to be con work. Um, Puedes usar el verb to be sí, sí, en sí, past sí, sí. con el past continuous. I was working and for hey, example, okay. por ejemplo, eh, cuando ella llegó a mi casa, yo estaba trabajando. Uh -huh. When she arrived home, or oh, I was working. Or oh, I was working when she arrived home. Uh -huh. Yes? Okay. okay. Okay, cool. Okay. Entonces, so, so eh, I, I work. Uh, you eh, worked? Uh, for 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 day uh, all all day all day okay very good. Um, what else did you do? Uh, <laughs> uh, how do you say estresado, Claudita? I, I told you right now. How you stress? How you say estresado? Uh, maybe not. Hey, Gabriel. Uh, estresado. Uh huh. Estrés. Stressed. No. Stressful. You, you, stressful? Uh, stressful is, uh, is, is an adjective. It's es es something muy estresante. Cuando algo es muy estresante para ti, it's stressful. But when you te sientes estresado, I feel I'm stressed. Or, or you can say, I am under stress. Y si quieres decir que tienes mucha presión, I am under too much pressure. Y si quieres decir que estás al borde del colapso, I am overwhelmed. See? Over, 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 overwhelmed. 
Overwhelm. Overwhelm significa que, for example, eh, let's pretend that you have to work, you have to study, um, you have to uh, be a father, uh, you have to um, pay the bills, you have to do this and this. So you have a lot, a lot of activities that you feel that you cannot continue with those activities anymore because it's too much for you too much for you that you feel so so much pressure that you are overwhelmed okay that is overwhelmed overwhelmed is like it's the top of to to feel uh stress okay. but that, that you cannot overwhelm 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 se los voy a mandar por or whatsapp overwhelm solo es estresado entonces es Stress. Well, I'm stressed. Oh, si estoy I'm en stress. mucho estrés, I am under, under too much stress. Si estoy en mu mucha presión, I'm under too much pressure. Y si estoy a punto del colapso, que tengo muchas cosas que hacer y I cannot handle them, ya no las puedo eh, manejar porque es mucho para mí, mm -hmm. I am overwhelmed. Ok. Es una nueva palabra para ustedes, ¿verdad? Overwhelmed. Yeah. Yeah. You see, it Mr. Moran, every class you learn <laughs> something new. Also you, right, Gabriel? Thing for everybody. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very good. So you see, we learn something new every single night. So extra vocabulary for you guys. Ya lo buscó, ¿verdad, Moran? Pero no, no, no sé si lo encontró. Sí. No, no lo encontré. Ya sabía oh, yo que... No. Ajá. Sí, es que ya lo... Por, porque sabe, tiene que saber cómo se escribe. Ajá. Para encontrar. Ah, ya sabía sí. yo. Un punto para ti. No, mentira. No, no, no. Pero... Ser, pero uh, uh, now, you see, guys. Moran was... Hi, teacher. How are you? And then he's happy. That's great. That's what I want. Energy. Okay. Claudita, can you tell us about your day? ¿Me puedes decir acerca de tu día? How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo tu día? Um, aparte de stressful. Aparte de stressful. ¿Qué hiciste? ¿Qué ¿Qué hiciste? ¿Qué slept? ¿Dormiste? Yes. Ah, qué stressful estuvo. Es que <laughs> el problema es otro. It's ah, ok. My work. Mm -hmm. Ok. Your work. And, But you worked, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Flat and eat and pasado es ate. Very good. You ate what? What did you eat? What did you eat? Sorry. Eat fish and um lunch. Uh huh. And breakfast pancake. Okay. And dinner uh, coffee. Only coffee. And bread. Uh, 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 sweet Orange. bread, sweet bread, and cup of coffee. Yes. Oh, that's good. That's a really nice dinner. I love it. Well, Lucky yes. you that you can eat sweet bread. I cannot eat sweet bread. Bread? Uh, mm, sometimes. Yes. Sweet bread. Mm -hmm. I'm on a restricted diet because of my gastro problems, so I oh. cannot eat sweet bread. I love sweet bread, especially the chocolate one. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, right? What else we can do? Okay. So, guys, we're going to continue with the simple past. And today we're going to talk about simple past with the verb to be. In the previously classes, we have seen the simple past with the ver with auxiliary verb did, right? Did is the past of which verb, Fernando? The past. The past of what? Or which verb? Mm, the past teacher. Uh huh. Is it pasado? De qué verbo? Del verbo, del verbo to be. Eh, eso es lo que vamos a ver hoy. Pero el did uh -huh. es el pasado de qué verbo? Do. Do. Very good. Okay. Okay. Exactly. Do or does, remember? Uh -huh. Okay. Entonces hoy vamos a ver el, el pasado del verbo to be. All right. Va a ser algo sencillo. Because I know that you already know these guys. Okay. So we'll be really quick. I promise. Y, le, y para, para, para ayudarles un poquito, eh, vamos a, a mandarles el file en PDF. ¿Se acuerdan que les dije que les iba a mandar el file en PDF? ¿Ya? Para que ustedes lo tengan y puedan estudiar. ¿Okay? Porque eso les va a servir mucho para Cajú. 
Si no están fritos, cómico. <laughs> yes, Cody. Okay. Cool. Okay, guys. So today we're going to talk about simple pass with verb to be. Guys, when do we use the simple pass? Vamos a hacer un quick review. When do we use the simple pass, Moran? De pasado. Exactly. Pasado de qué? De un verbo. De un verbo. Y podría ser. O un pasado de alguna actividad. Probablemente. ¿Qué más? De un hábito que usted tuviera. Mm. Uh -huh. O. Acciones de... pasadas. Exactly. Everything related to past. ¿Pero quiere decir que algo que pasó y también puede continuar en el presente? No. No. Muy bien. Si empieza en el pasado, termina en el, el, pasado. el pasado. pasado. Exactly. Por eso es que le estoy poniendo aquí la gráfica. Acá. Que es start in the past and end up in the past, guys. ¿Sí? Entonces, precisamente. Hoy vamos a ver el verb to, el verb to be in the past. Y miren qué bonito lo que las acabo de poner. Es una pizarrita. Because I'm a teacher, es una pizarrita. Entonces, vemos, por la columna izquierda, ven que está el present tense, ¿sí? Para que, sí. Para que vean. El present tense del verbo to be. Para I, ¿cuál es el verbo to be para I en presente? Um, I'm um, very good. Para you? Are. Uh, 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 muy bien. Uh, Lo mismo para we, ¿verdad? Yes. Para el you plural y para el they. Pero con he, she, it, ¿cuál es? Is. 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 Very good. Entonces tenemos en la columna derecha, on the right column, we do have a simple past tense. Para I, ¿cuál sería? Was. 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 Lo mismo tenemos para he, she, it. ¿Se fijan? Oh. Uh -huh. Ajá. Y para you, singular, you, plural, we y they, ¿cuál es el pasado? Where, where, where. where, ok. Media vez usted tenga claro usted cuál para cuál, estamos bien, ok. Eso es importante que usted lo sepa. Sé que ustedes ya lo saben. Y aquí les puse algo, miren qué bonito. Ok, ¿cómo usar el verb to be en pasado de forma afirmativa, negativa? Vamos a ver después el negativo contractado y vamos a ver las interrogativas, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, por ejemplo, miren, aquí está más chévere, miren. Está I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they, y tenemos el was y el where, ¿ok? ¿Estamos bien aquí? Y tenemos un ejemplo. ¿Quién me puede leer el primer ejemplo? Muchas gracias, Gabriel. I was tired this morning. Muy bien, ¿qué significa? Estuve... Cansado esta mañana. Muy esta bien, mañana. muy bien. Can you please read for me number two, Moran? Yo tengo. Ya había yo. Uh -huh. Al principio le dije I was at work y me dijo que no se puede usar el was con el con la con el verbo y, y es el mismo caso acá. I was tired this morning. No, no es el mismo caso. Porque tired no es un verbo, no estoy, no es el verbo cansar. Tired mm -hmm. es un adverbio de modo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, ¿verdad? Yeah. Ay, okay. yo ya sabía que usted me iba a salir con una pregunta, pero I already had the answer. ¿Y ahí cómo hace para identificar eh, cuándo es un verbo y cuándo es un...? You need to study. <laughs> That's a really good answer, yeah. right? Uh -huh. uh, hey guys, I send you the links for regular verbs and irregular verbs. So you must learn it by heart. You need to study them. There's no other way. Uh -huh. Porque work sí es un verbo. Pero tired no, este es un adverbio de modo. Yo estaba cansado. Porque usted no puede decir... Yo cansado, tú cansado, él cansado, nosotros, no, ¿verdad que no se puede? Y Claudia, she was just laughing. <risa> Usted tiene que usar, por ejemplo, un verbo, en este caso el verb to be, para poder darle una oración lógica. Si usted lo dice en el presente, por ejemplo, I am tired, estoy cansado. ¿Sí? Sí, sí, sí. La palabra sí. cansado no es un verbo, es un adverbio de 
Yes, Gabriel. Podemos, podemos decir que el verbo utilizado en esta oración es el to be, ¿verdad? Exactly. Was. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. el, el pasado, exacto. Y estoy diciendo, por ejemplo, por ejemplo, yo podría sustituir perfectamente el tire por otro adverbio de modo. Lo que no podría hacer con, el, con un verbo, porque cambiaría el, completamente la lógica de la, del sentence, right? Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, can, I was can. happy this morning. Ajá. ¿Me entiende? Entonces, ahí, a ese es otro tip también para saber si el verbo o no. ¿Sí? Ok. Very good. Claudia, te estás muriendo de la risa, right? Yeah. <risa> yeah, yeah. Pero, pero es válida tu pregunta, Mora, no te preocupes. Yo, pero yo sabía que te, iba, que te iba a poner un interrogante ahí. Pero I already have the answer for you. But hoy sí, ve que tired no es un verbo, es un adverbio de modo. ¿Ok? Very okay, good. Sí. Now, yes, Moran, number two, please. You were very good. Ajá, yo le podría decir a usted, you were very good, Moran. Estuvo muy bien. Very good. Okay. Fernando, can you please read for me? He? Okay. He was the best in his class. Ajá, él era el mejor de su clase. Can you, yeah, can you continue, Fernando, please? She? She was late for work. Uh -huh. Llegó tarde al trabajo. Al trabajo. Continúa, por favor, Fernando. It was a sunny day. A sunny a, day. A sunny day. Era un a día soleado. 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 Very good. Claudia, can you please read for me? We, we were at home. Uh -huh. Estábamos o estuvimos en la casa. Yeah. Ok. Continue, Claudia. You were on holiday. 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 Estuviste de fiesta, pero holiday es una fiesta así como de un país, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Independence Day o algo así. Muy bien. Continue, please. They were happy with their test results. 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 Muy bien. Estuvieron felices por el resultado de sus exámenes. Así van a estar ustedes de felices, oigan. I promise. <laughs> I promise, yes. We can who. I promise of that. Okay. Bien. Fíjense bien. Que es, fíjense una cosa. Uh -huh. Que después del verbo to be, si estoy hablando de simple past, no estoy hablando de otro tipo de tiempo de verbal, simple past, ven que yo no ocupo otro verbo después. ¿Lo pueden ver? Lo, lo que pasa diferente con did, ¿se acuerdan? Con did, ¿sí? Y el verbo lo pongo en presente porque el did ya me, ya me lo traslada al pasado, pero en este caso no. Entonces, por ejemplo, yo no puedo decir I was go, I was went, o I was go. Yo no puedo decir eso. Porque acuérdense que el verbo to be es el verbo ser o estar. 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 Exacto. Uh -huh. En otras palabras, fui o estuve. ¿Sí? Para que, para que tengan eso. Entonces, ven aquí. Es el presente afirmativo está claro, ¿verdad? El pasado afirmativo. Is it clear, Mr. Moran, or you're still thinking? Uh, uh, clear. Clear, okay. Clear like a water or clear like a rosada? The second. The second one. So that's not clear. <laughs> Come on, sir. Uh, okay, is it true? It's not clear? No, uh, clear, clear. Okay, cool. Okay, vamos a pasar al negativo, ¿sabes? Okay, okay. Con el verbo negativo... En este caso, ahorita, vamos a usar la partícula, miren, not, ¿verdad? ¿Después de qué? Después del verbo to be en pasado. Miren, por ejemplo, tengo para I was not. Y para he, she, it, lo mismo. Para you, we, they, sería where, ¿verdad? Y en su negativo, where, not. 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 Very good. Can you please read for me the examples, Moran? Number one, please. I was not tired this morning. Exactly. Está usted diciendo lo negativo de la primer ejemplo que acabamos de ver. Yo no estaba cansado esta mañana. Can you please continue? You are not crazy. Mm, eso tengo mis dudas, Moran. <laughs> <laughs> you were not crazy. No estabas cuckoo, right? You were not crazy. No, I'm just kidding you. Okay, I'm just teasing you. I'm just teasing you. Teasing you is bromear contigo directamente. I'm just teasing you. Ok, continue. You. Sí, una diferencia es que, paréntesis, una diferencia es que I'm kidding, estoy bromeando. 
puede decir también lo mismo que I'm joking. ¿Sí? Estoy bromeando a nivel general. Pero cuando yo digo I'm teasing you, quiere decir que yo estoy bromeando contigo o te estoy haciendo una broma directamente a ti. No en general. ¿Sí? Es diferente. Esos son tips. Continue. <laughs> All okay. right. Can you please continue? He, he was not married. He was not married. Married. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. Continue, please. She was not famous. 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 Mm -hmm. She was famous. not famous. Era no, no era famosa, ¿verdad? Muy bien. Mm -hmm. Now, continue, Fernando. It was not... Mm, not... Hot. Hot yesterday. Exactly. No estaba haciendo calor ayer. Okay. Sí, porque esto es horrible. Very good. Continue, please. We were not invited. 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 Significa okay. no estuvimos invitados. Invitados. Very good. You were not at the party. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Y la otra? They were not friends. friends. Muy bien. Hoy ve a ti. Sigamos con lo mismo, con el negativo. Pero hoy lo vamos a ver de manera contractada. Aquí está, miren, con el was not, completely, ¿verdad? Sabemos que ahí hacemos de manera negativa. Pero si lo queremos contractar, ¿cómo lo hacemos? ¿Cuál es la contracción de not? I wasn't. Wasn't, wasn't exactly. And apostrophe T. Entonces, si usted me dice, si usted me ve la partícula not, usted me lo va a pronunciar como was not. Pero si usted, usted ve contractado, Usted me lo tiene que pronunciar contractado. Can you please uh, pronounce for me um, or read for me the first sentence, Gabriel? I was. Okay. I was not tired this morning. Or, can you please continue? Or, I wasn't tired this morning. Very good. Number two, uh, Moran, can you please read it for me? You are not crazy or you weren't crazy. Very good job. Claudia, can you please read for me number three? He was not married. Or he wasn't married. Very good. And last but not least, Fernando, she. She was not famous or she wasn't famous. She wasn't famous. Very good. Very good. Exactly. Eso está claro, ¿verdad? Como el agua. Yes. Yeah, a piece yes. of cake. Yeah. Okay, now, I've been a la cosa. ¿Cómo lo hacerlo de forma, eh, as a question? ¿Sí? sí. Vamos a ver. Miren qué interesante es. As a question. Y con short answer. Porque cuando vemos el, el bird to be as a question, se convierte en lo que nosotros ya conocemos como una yes, no question. ¿Se recuerdan? Que es una respuesta corta. ¿Sí? Así como cuando dir está en primer, en primer plano, es una respuesta corta. En este caso, ¿se acuerdan que acá cuando es sentence? Vamos a ver aquí. Cuando es sentence, el bird to be en pasado va después del sujeto o antes del sujeto. Después. 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 Very good. Uh -huh. Pero ¿qué pasa cuando es una question? Uh, antes. Lo primero antes. es el verbo to be. Exactly. Sí. Va sí. antes. El verbo to be siempre va a ir en una question, va a ser el primero. ¿Sí? Y acuérdense que como es lo primero, va a ir con W mayúscula. ¿Okay? Hasta la forma de escribir. No me vayan a poner was con minúscula. Tiene que ser con mayúscula cuando es pregunta. ¿Sí? Después del verbo to be, ¿qué va? Subject. Subject, The subject exactly. Que puede ser I, you, he, she, it, we, they, o chicos también puede ser la persona, ¿ok? Acuérdense que podemos sustituirlo. Y luego, el complemento y el question mark, que es el signo de pregunta. Entonces, si yo, por ejemplo, digo, um, Fernando, were you sick? ¿Estabas enfermo? Tienes dos no, posibilidades. No, no, I was. No, no I, I wasn't. Was. Exactly, no, I wasn't, porque yo no estaba enfermo. Pero si estuviera enfermo, ¿qué podrías decir? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Very good, exactly. Um, Gabriel. Um, 
Teacher, teacher. Yes, sir. Ay, Neil. Ajá, eh. dígame. Sabía yo no, eso. Ahí, ahí, ahí le preguntó, ¿tú estás enfermo? Uh -huh. Y él le contestó, sí, yo estuve enfermo. Uh -huh. Le pude haber contestado, yes, I do. Yo estoy enfermo. O sea, todavía no, no me he curado. No, no, no. no. ¿Por qué, Claudia? Porque es de lo que es pasado y termina en pasado. Exactly. Okay. Usted tiene que decir en pasado. Yo sé que a veces okay. no les cuesta un poquito porque nosotros los latinos conjugamos mucho los verbos, los verbos de los uh -huh. tiempos verbales. Pero en, en inglés no. Usted habla en pasado y tiene que terminar en pasado. Okay. No me conjuga el presente. Pero, ¿qué es lo que usted quería decir, por ejemplo? Eh, por ejemplo, o sea, no me, no me he recuperado, entonces en el presente sigo estando enfermo. Entonces, yo, yo, yo veo factible usar si sí, yo estoy enfermo. O sea, todavía aún estoy enfermo. Entonces, sería yes, I do. O sea, porque en el presente todavía eh, mm. sigo ejecutando ese verbo, por decirlo Ajá. así. Podría Pero decirlo de esta manera. Pero creo que puede manera. usar el, el, el but. Exactly. En el video que, el video que se puso. Vi que decía. Uh -huh. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Por ejemplo, la respuesta directa a la pregunta, were you uh -huh. sick? Es yes, I was. Yes, punto. I was. Si usted quiere dar, después del punto, quiere seguir explicando, entonces I usted puede me. usar otra cosa, puede usar el but. Uh -huh. Pero uh -huh. la respuesta directa a la pregunta tiene que ser en pasado. Ok, gracias. Very gracias. good. All right, very good. Okay, Gabriel. Mm -hmm. um, were you busy today? Yes, I were. Yes, I. Yes, I was. Yes, I no. was. Very good. Esa es una tricky porque yo le pregunto you y con you ocupo where, verdad? Pero cuando usted responde, usted está respondiendo de usted. I. Entonces ya no es where, es. Was. Was. was very good, Claudie. Was Gabriel busy today? Uh, yes, she was. Yes, he was. Very good. Oof. No le compre el she, eh? Yes, he. <laughs> Oof. Very good. Excellent. Sorry, Gabriel. Oh no, no, está no perdonada. Problem. But don't do it again. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, he was. Claudita, y si hubiera sido de forma negativa, ¿cómo lo diría usted? No, he wasn't. Very good job. Exactly. Very good. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Eso sí, guys. Las contractions solo las usamos en negative way. Nunca voy a ocupar usted contractions en positive way o afirmativo porque no se puede. Okay. ¿Estamos sí. bien? Y vean qué bonito el recuadro que les hice. Bien. Yeah. Ahí, tenemos todo. Ahí. Affirmative way. Negative way. Hasta las flechitas, miren. Ahí está. Uh -huh. La negativa, el contractado, no contractado, para los dos, para was y para were. Y cuando hacemos, y miren qué bonito lo que les estaba diciendo, ¿eh? they were happy, pero cuando estamos en preguntas, el were pasa a primer plan. Y el sujeto pasa a segundo plan, ¿sí? Y bien interesante, chicos, porque también en esta parte es, tienen el was y el were con las WH questions. ¿Recuerden que también lo podemos hacer? Así como lo hacemos con did, así también hacemos con el was or were. Solo que si entonces utilizamos el was or were con el WH question, primero va a ir la WH question, que puede ser where, why, o when, como ustedes quieran. Luego va el verb to be, luego va el subject, y por último, su complemento. ¿Sí? Es bien importante saber. No se preocupen que esto se los voy a mandar. ¿Ok? Para que ustedes... ¿Tienes una pregunta? Yes. Sí, sure. Uh, Gabriel. Yes. Ah, uh, Gabriel. Pronunci uh, uh, the, the pronunciation, the pronunciation, where and where double H question. Uh -huh. uh, uh, there are, there is some similar. There similar? is, a, yes, in the in the way that you open where? your mouth and at the same time in the way that the sound lands. For example, um, you were early. You were early. You see, we're early. Mm -hmm. Where was, where, you see, where, 
wear. wear. You s look at my mouth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You wear. Wear what? You see the, the second one? Mm -hmm. On the second one, you gotta open wear. your mouth. Wear. Mm -hmm. And the, and the first one, where, you see? Where. The pronunciation is really important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And of course, well. the pronunciation. That's why I'm, I'm letting you guys that don't feel bad if you, sometimes you feel like goofy in trying to like practice the pronunciation, but that's the only way. So where, okay, practice guys, let's practice together. Where, 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 where. 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 all right, was, was where 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 was was very good you see practice makes perfections okay any other questions okay. we're good okay so let's continue guys so so far so good some bien ahorita yes Okay, yes. you wanna play with me? You wanna play? Ernesto, sure. how are you? Alex, very good. Hi, how are you? I'm so happy to have you. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay. Yeah, everybody's relaxed today. Oh, but uh, Alex, let me ask you, are you on your bed, by the way? No, right? No, I'm ah. in the couch. Ah, on the couch. Okay, yes. similar to Gabriel, <laughs> but Gabriel is already wearing his pajamas. Okay, all yes. right. Yes, Only right. Only this shirt is what? formal. Ah, okay. <laughs> Only okay. The, this shirt? <laughs> Only the t-shirt. T-shirt, yes. No, the teacher, no me. No, t-shirt. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. All righty. Mm-hmm. Okay, too much information that we're not supposed to know, Gabriel. Okay, so that's good. <laughs> All righty, very good. Okay, so let me share my screen and let's play together. This is going to be so much fun. Can you see it? Yes. yes. Okay, cool. In this guy, guys, we have a time, okay? So you gotta help me. Okay, in this thing, basically, you need to like um let me give you a tip there will be questions and there will be answers and also uh there will be affirmative and negative sentences okay so you must read quickly you have to let me know if it's was if it's where in affirmative way if it's wasn't or if it's wearing in a negative way or if i had to put it at the beginning of a question okay we have 10 sentences 10 possibilities. So we got 10 or we got zero. Okay? Are you guys ready? Cool. Please help me. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Let's start. Which one? Was, where, where or where? Where. 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 where? where? All right. Very good. Let's continue. Was. 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 Very good. Was. Let's continue. Was. 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 was okay was very good where weren't 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 excellent job was like was was, was. was. Very, very good Cody was wasn't wasn't, wasn't. wasn't. all right very good continue was. 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 was 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 all right cool this is a question where where, where are they where, where, where are they yeah very good where we were, were. Where. which where? where which where. one where. Where. where the second one the where. second one i want you to pronounce it which one where where where, where. okay where. Well. All right, very good. She and the was, last one. Was 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 there you go. How much we got? Hey, we got a hundred. That's amazing. <laughs> let's close it. Let's play another one, okay? Okay, okay let's play another game. Woohoo! This is word to word. What does it mean? 
that the sentence, guys, is in disorder. And we okay. need to put it in order, but guess what? We have time. So if we made a mistake, okay? So we have time. We need to like process the information and the words in disorder, and we need to like uh, formulate the sentences in a good order, but as quickly as possible, okay? Very good. Okay, let's start. Okay. I was. I was late for oh. school today. Okay, I was late. I was late for school today. School today. School today. Oof. I'm swearing. Okay, very good. Next. She was. She was. was. Okay. With her friends friend. 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 last Saturday. Saturday. Oof, you make me sweat. Come on. All right, very good. He was tied yesterday. yesterday. Very good. They weren't. They weren't. They weren't. At the match, at the football, 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 match. football, football match, football match yesterday. yesterday. Oh my goodness, you're making me sweat. Come on. He was a certain time. He wasn't. No. At that time. Fine. No? He was so hungry. 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 Time. Oh, we fell at like that. Oh, we fell at that. This one was wrong. Oh. We were. We were. We on the party. On, on, on the party. On the party. On Saturday. On Saturday. Phew. All right. I was, I was, at, awake, awake, at, 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 this is a question. Was, 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 the weather, the weather, Within the same. Aha. Question. Where you? Where you? Where you? Where you? In the park. In the in the park this afternoon. This afternoon. I know it's really hard, right? Question. Where were you? Where were you? Where were you? Where were you? Hey, not too bad. We got 9 of 10, 90%. Not too bad. But this one was harder than the other one, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah because it was in disorder. And now we need to think it faster. That's why, guys, I teach you the grammar part and I ask you. A, if we make a sentence, the, the past of the verb to be goes after the pronoun or before the pronoun. So you have to have the image in the mind. As a question, should I put the verb to be first or after the pronoun? It has to be first, right? This is a question. So that's why I emphasize you on that because on this particular exercise, we need to like think faster, okay? And this is really nice to so make a practice. You like it? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. right? Yes. Okay, now guys, this is not this is going to be also a, a practice because we'll continue practicing right now. And I'm going to show you something that I want you to read on yourself and you need to uh, answer quickly, okay? This is going to be a reading and writing activity. This one that we're going to do right now. And I promise you something, guys. The the guys that I that we have done today, I'm going to send you the links. So you can do it at home, okay? And you can practice as well. Would you like me to do that? Okay. Yes? Okay, cool. Like, yes. Okay, cool. Oh, we have 11. Who's? Oh, we have the Anita also. Very mm -hmm. good. We got Mr. Charlie Brown. 
Gabby, Martita, very good. All righty. Allow me just one moment. I'm going to click here. Ah, okay, cool. Okay, this is going to be fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Let me show you my screen. All righty, very good. Okay, can you see it, guys? Yes. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Okay, this is going to be for your own. I will give you one minute. And I just want you to read this part by yourself. And after one minute, we're going to answer yes, true or false, okay? But this one, Hannes, is um, you describe your day, uh, your day on a vacation. I don't know. And everything is related to the past. And everything in this particular description is the use of the bird to be in the past, okay? okay? Okay, cool. Who can help me reading? Thank you so much. Gabby, go ahead. Can you read it for me? Uh, yes, yes, sorry. Okay. Yesterday was a great day. I was on a trip with my family. We were at the beach all day. My parents were happy because they weren't at work. My sister was in the sea all morning. The water was cool, but I wasn't in it for long. For long. It, was, it was hot and my brother wasn't very smart. He didn't use sunscreen, so he got burned. Very good, very good. Okay, the water was cold. Cold, that means que estaba helada, cold. Okay. Where? All right, very good. Any question regarding vocabulary on this particular paragraph, guys? Burnt. Yo sabía, Moran. Mire lo que dice. Aquí usamos el, el pasado del did, ¿se recuerda? Pero estamos en principio past. Mire, he didn't use sunscreen. Él no usó bloqueador. Por lo tanto, ¿qué pasó? Se quemó. Exactly. So he got burned. Se significa que se que chicharro, se quemó. <laughs> God es el pasado de get. God es el pasado de get. Yo se los mandé. Es un verbo uh -huh. regular o irregular? Irregular. 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 Very irregular. good job. Exactly. Como que él tomó una quemada. No, él se quemó. Tú. Ajá. Él obtuvo una quemada al final. Ajá, obtuvo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very good job. Okay, guys. Sí. Let's answer. Tell me something. Um, Gabriel, can you please read for me letter A? Hey, they were at the beach yesterday. Is this true or false, guys? Ah, true. You already have the answer. Yeah, yeah, true. Okay, no se vale. <laughs> Number, letter B, Claudita, can you please read it for me? He, he, that was happy. Okay, el papá estaba contento. True or false? True. 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 Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Because. Dad is 